So I want to know, you've been moving around so much uh, in, in the grand scheme of the offense this year. What do you like about lining up in so many different places in different schemes? Uh, just getting the ball in different ways. Um, it, it allows you to get the ball in open space, uh, make more plays like that. Um, it's fun catching, going out there and catching the balls every now and then. Um, so the whole experience, I'm just kind of just getting used to it, but I'm enjoying it. What do you like about the way that uh, keeps defenses on their toes because you have become such a versatile asset for the offense? It's just hard. Hard to find the right person to, uh, to come on and guard me. And then they bring a back out the box. There's one last person we have to worry about for worse for Thomas and Marcus. Um, and they put a safety over over the top of me, then it's a lot easier for us to get our routes open and things like that. So um, it just it challenges the defense in a different way than, than normal. Do you ever wish that you could line up and focus on just one position, running back or wide receiver versus the other? Uh, kind of, sort of, but not really, honestly. Um, this is what the team needs, really, is just me to be able to bounce around and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm getting used to uh, to being able to go to receiver one play and then running back the next and then receiver and just be able to bounce back and be versatile. Do you feel like you're an X factor on the offense, the way that you line up in so many different schemes? I think I could be, and I think it's becoming that way, but it's just, just work and repetition, really, just making sure practice goes well. Uh, I'm getting everything down, and, and we'll see. How about um, with Royce? Keeping an eye on him just through the stats, the way I was reading it, that he... He doesn't usually come in until later in the first quarter and then sparsely in the second quarter. You don't see him as much in the first half. Then they really let him go in the second half. Uh, do you know why that is? Uh, I'm not really too sure. Coach Cam has his, uh, the way he wants to rotate us uh, and things like that. But it's really just more so a feel. It's hard to just to start one series and then get taken off the next. Um, you, you lose your rhythm or you never gain it. So, um, uh, so with the people that start or that, um, they just want to get that rhythm, get that rhythm going, and then you can kind of insert other people. So I'm sure that's what Coach Cam does somewhat, but we're not sure to the full extent. Do you think it could be uh, the fact that the offense wears down defenses so much? You save Royce. He's more of a – he has a fresh pair of legs for the second half coming in and keep grinding down a defense? Uh, once again, I couldn't tell you for real. I, I, we don't ask him, like, why you rotate us like this. He just – we just go out there and play when that tells us to go and we go in. How about Washington State? What exactly are you guys going to try and throw at them this week? Um, just a little different stuff. You know, they um, they have good coverages, you know, good backers. So just really just try to mix it up, really come out and make it exciting. It's the first Pac-12 game, so we all kind of excited about that. But um, really just play our game, and I think we should be fine with that. Is there anything that you've seen from tape from their defense that makes you think, oh, I'm, I'm – expecting to see that from them when they cover you particularly? Uh, yes and no. I mean, you watch them enough and against the plays that we run, the other teams run against them and just kind of see where they had lined up and what's their schemes and what they like to do. And then you kind of just play off that. Um, so it's just kind of a yes and no answer.